want to talk to you about how some animals get their names because some of them are positively misleading. A few weeks ago, somebody asked me why mantis shrimp are called mantis shrimp when they're not mantis or even shrimp. That made me realize that there are some animals that have names that just don't make any sense. But let's think about some that do make sense. For example, a hippopotamus. The word is Greek and it means river horse. So they don't quite look like horses, but they do live in rivers, so that makes a little bit more sense. This kind of borrowing from other languages is a pretty common way that animals get their common names. Other common names are given that describe either a physical appearance or some kind of behavior. For example, a favorite of mine is the hero ant of Madagascar, or cliff ant. So these ants are pretty incredible. They build their nests in cliffs above the ground, and when there's a stranger that comes a knock in, one ant decides to be the hero and tackles the intruder and throws them both off the side of the cliff. A second favorite of mine is the Andean cock of the rock. It's a bird, but you might not get that from its name. Its scientific name is Ripicola peruvianus. It is the national bird of Peru. Now, the Latin translation of Ripicola means cliff or rock. So, it turns out these birds do like to hang out on cliffs or rocks. So that part we understand. But where did the cock come from? There's some speculation that the crest on the top of the male, the very beautiful and spectacular male cock of the rock, is so similar to the comb on the top of the rooster's head. A male rooster is also known as a cockerel, and for short, cock. So the steps to follow here for how this bird got its name is that we have a crest on the top of the head that looks like the comb on a rooster. A rooster is also known as a cockerel, shortened to cock. Then we have a bird that likes to hang out on rocks. So now we have cock of the rock. And incidentally, they also have moves like Jagger and sound like this. Sometimes it doesn't make any sense at all. Take the mountain chicken that's actually a frog. Where does the chicken part come in? Well, unfortunately for this little nugget of a frog, it's because they taste like um chicken. And because of that, they've been hunted almost to extinction. There are only about 100 individuals left on Dominica and two individuals left on Montserrat. Incidentally, their true common name is the giant ditch frog, which at least tells us it's a frog. What about the mantis shrimp? If it isn't a shrimp, or even a mantis for that matter, how did it get its name? Well, it turns out because it looks like a mantis and a shrimp combo, that's how it got its name. Like mantis, they are voracious predators that can swing a punch with clubby appendages at approximately 170 miles per hour. Though to be fair, some spear, not jab. Thanks for listening and don't forget to check out some of the videos of the critters that I've been talking about today.